green tea, anyone? Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This one's the Fort Erie Thrift Store run by the St. Vincent de Paul Society. Two storefronts right in the downtown of Fort Erie. The traditional one, that is. So here we see the front windows before you go in. They look very promising. The hours are far better than the ones I. I've come across in other cities. So here we go. Here's the entrance. They have some clothing there. Hard goods to start off right away. They have some interesting electronics. I'm still in the box apparently. Then we have the Women's clothes primarily here. Some linens, fabrics, and we start our search. Going to the back of the store, there's a, a room to your to the, that has just shoes, some other hard goods as well. Back to the shoe area. And another room. This one's got uh, primarily kitchen, kitchen items, whether the small appliances or pots and pans or cutlery or glassware, mugs, so on and so forth. There's quite a bit of stuff here in that sense. Coming out of there, we come into the uh, rest of this soft stuff. Drapes, sheets, comforters. And then we find the uh, meager supply of men's shirts of any kind. I guess they don't get donated. What can I say? Or somebody's cleaned them out for some other reason. It may get some of the um, seasonal workers that travel from Central America. Hmm. These were shorts. And pants. Double checking. Sometimes the shirts get mis misappropriated, misplaced. And as I was correct on that, the sizes were. Oh, these were shorts. Um, and even the sizes weren't all that generous. swim trunks so here we are we're continuing more of the shorts seem to be quite a few of them Ah, we finally found some. A couple of Hawaiian shirts. Sizes were on the smaller end. 
have enough of those at the moment. They have these the tools, they've placed them into these zippered clear bags. They usually have linen sets or something of the, when they originally were sold. It's a very different way of displaying them. And then I see this thing that looks like an Erlenmeyer flask, but it's uh, it's a vase. The bottom isn't flat, it's not a Pyrex, but it has the form. There's the tea set. There's another tea set. At the outdoor window, this is the other side. This is the other storefront. It primarily has furniture. Take time to live because time passes quickly and never returns. There's the teapot again with its trivet. Not your average colors. And then they have these bins of electrical wires and other hardware and the furniture and some appliances. There's a, an industrial rack for the appliances on the bottom and lighter stuff on top. Smaller appliances up there. Yeah, stoves, dryers, washers, chairs are up there too. It's another wheelchair. Hmm. Wheelchairs are really custom fitted in many cases, so. Unless you're able to get them custom fitted, they're kind of less than desirable, but of course, I'm sure they can all be custom fitted some way to someone. The furniture, well, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this you could subscribe and give us a like it'd be appreciated perhaps even dingle on the bell so you're notified of the next video thanks a lot folks bye bye